Hello everyone. So today's question is stream of characters. The question says that we are given a list of strings or words and some letters. And we need to check if these words or strings are present in the given letters or not. In this example, we have the words C, D, F and K, L. And we need to check if they appear in the letters below, which are from A till L. So let's move on to pen and paper and see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. In this question, we are going to use a data structure called try. If you have never used try before, I recommend checking out the videos in the description below. So let's see. Try uses a design structure to dynamically add and search strings. It is widely used in features such as autocomplete and predictive text. So let's first see what a try looks like. It is a simple structure which looks like a tree but is actually quite different. Let's take an example of a few strings that we have given in the example. In the question, we are given the following strings. C, D, F and K, L. So how are we going to build a tree out of this? So the first word we have is C, D. This node represents a try. And since we don't have any node right now, this try is going to point towards C. Next we have B and C is going to point towards D. Next we have F and since we don't have any F in this string, our try is going to create a new node F. The next word is KL. Since we don't have KL in any of the string here, our try is going to make a new node K and K points towards L. So this is what a try looks like. So there's one more thing. Whenever a word ends in a try, we are going to mark it as true. So at L, we are going to say true. Same with D and same with F. Now what if we have an example C, D and E. In this case, after D, we are going to have another node and mark it as true. Why? Because one of the string C D ends right here and we have another string C D E which ends at E. So this is what a try looks like and we are going to use this to implement in our answer. So one issue that we face is we don't know how many characters to match. In the example of C D and E, we don't know whether we should start from A B C D E, B C D E. C, D, E, D, E or E and this creates an issue. So there is one way to solve this problem and that is to look for the last character in the word. In the case of C, D, E, look for E. In the case of J, K, look for K. One thing is for sure that we always have to match the last character of the word and then a search is complete. So what we can do is we can reverse the order of the stream and the tree for easier search and that way we can find one path and match character by character and we don't have to match every character again and again starting from the first letter. Let's see how that works. So in this tree we have reversed the order. We don't start from C, we start from D and then come to C. Same in the case of KL, we start with L and then come to L. We have reversed the order of the tree. And same with the tree, we don't start from A. We start from the last letter which is K and then go upstream till A. Now when we are matching C, D and E, we can start from K, go till E, we have a match with E. Then we come to D, we have a match with D. Then we come to C and we have a match with C. And our search is complete. And if we couldn't find any character which matches with the word, then we know the search has failed and the word is not present in the stream. Now how to implement this into our code? First we need to implement a try. A try is a nested hash map. At every step we have to verify if the child node to add is already present. If yes, we have to go one level down and if it's not present then we add the node into a try and then go one step down. 
In the case of CDE, the first word is C and we don't have any C present in a try yet. So we create a node C which point towards an empty hash. Now when we come to D, we know that D is one level down to C. So we add D into our hash and our D points toward an empty hash. Now we come to E and we know that E is one level down to D. So we add E after D and point it towards an empty hash. And this is what the hash for C, D and E looks like. So we are going to repeat until all our words are done and then the try is formed. The second thing that we need is how to store the reverse letters in a list. And for that, we are going to use a deck. Because in a deck, the add first operation takes constant time and we can add letters from the last character step by step without taking too much time or space. Now let's move towards the code and see how we are going to implement our answer. So the first thing that we need to do is add the words into the try. And for that, we are going to initialize an empty try and also to store the reverse characters in the letter, we are going to use a deck. And for that, we are going to initialize an empty deck. We are using a for loops on the words and add every word into the try. In line number 12, we are initializing a node in which for every character in the word, in reverse order, we are going to create an empty space for each word and add every character of the word level by level. So for CD, we are going to enter D first and then C and this is exactly what the try looks like. Whenever we form a complete word, we are going to mark it as word so that we can easily search for it in the letter part. When we come to F, we are going to add F in a separate node and then we have complete word which is F. We are going to add L in a separate node, K one level down and then we mark it as a word. So this is exactly what our try looks like when we run this loop. So this is what I'm doing in this complete for loop. I'm adding each word to the try and when the word is formed, I'm going to mark it as a word. Next, we have the query function. And in the query function, we're taking each letter and checking if the word appears in the letter or not. If it's present, I'm going to return true. And if not, then I'm going to return false. And in the end, I'm simply returning the output of the node, which is this. For the words which are present, it gives me a true. And for the words which are not present, it gives me a false. So that's it for the code. I will not submit it. And my code got accepted. So this was the solution for this question. If this was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Kai, for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.